Bingo. Plant. Wednesday was Thursday, so that's good. All right. No money. Is she okay? Uh, yes. Just can't make it tonight. It's fine. All right. Um, first thing on the everybody got the agenda. Yeah. Finally, yep. All right. Uh, first thing is approval of the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second. second. And Michelle, they got out there to everybody. Yeah, you know what? And I put copies here. I just realized the agenda doesn't actually have the date on it. Oh, last month's agenda. Last but month's last minutes. Month, they're here. There's yeah. copies right here. So here, and they're posted think, on the yeah. website. Thank you. I know okay. they. Mandy I, sent them to me, and I looked them over. And, and I know I'm. Them. I'm working with Mandy to try to get her to get them up there sooner because we should be doing that. Kind of uh, yeah. yeah, and she's part time, so it's sort of like trying to get there and hers. She actually, we've got her working some hours up at the um, highway department, helping out with their paperwork up there as well, because things are a little slower, a little slower in our in the office down here, which yeah. is great. But it also, right. so anyway, she sure. she's doing this, get doing great. Much, things are very well put in these now, so that's great. Yeah, okay. I, I went. I, yeah. yeah, I know you reviewed them because I wasn't here, so yeah. thank you for doing. So they're that. good. All right, so we have some updates here. Uh, Michelle and I have met a few times on some issues of the no idling signs. Uh, Amy had put together a draft of one. Michelle and I met and, and moved a few things around, but um, I, I, did you send that? I, this is, I know, I should have. Yeah. That is the update. This was Those were the updates that we wanted. I should have made more copies of that. So I don't know if you can see this up there. Here, here do it this way. Yes. Here's, All right. Now, one thing we, we would do on this, obviously, is center the please uh, oh, note. Yeah. yeah, we have to center that. Um, we but talked about, go ahead. Was Michelle. that the way, that was the question yeah. Amy asked me if, yeah. if the other, because the other language was only necessary idling permitted. And we were wondering which yeah, sounded more positive. Them to idle for at least a three minutes. Oh, Okay. That's how I we were just, it was the response to, I don't know, Dean wanting it to be positive. Yeah, yeah. Like and I did, I did pass this by the uh, selectmen and they were all fine with what we had. So I believe it was that one that you had printed out that was on the bigger paper, which was. Right, right. I printed one on bigger paper? Yeah. I didn't print that. I didn't. You did. Well, maybe. Whatever, but it's so that one. We have, you know, Let's see. There you go. And those were the colors. Yeah. And then be in color. So what yeah, I thought I like we were, what we were trying to do, we had, Michelle and I had talked about trying to put him a, get a sign like you would see for where no parking or whatever that size sign, and hopefully put it on places where there's already a post existing, so we don't have to put in a new right. post. Right. Yeah. Um, and we don't want to overdo it. Obviously, we want to be somewhat strategic. So we looked about, of course, the post office and in front of uh, uh, the food market. And did you get a chance where you talked about asking some of the businesses if they would be interested in putting a sign on the thinking Hickory Stick or Washington Supply, if they would be interested in if they found that that's happened? I mean, they might not know whether it's happening in there inside the store. They don't. You right. Know, but, right. Uh, I did not ask. Okay. I, what, I like I didn't know where we were. on right. that. I didn't know you had talked to the select. Yeah, about I did that. the other day. I must and, have and they were, missed that. One. Yeah. Well, we had a. I I ran into them individually. Gotcha. Say. It's totally fine. So, do you want um, me to po paste it? Uh, or you want me to share the screen so that Brian can see it, or is that good enough? Because uh, I don't know why it is showing up. I don't know why it. So uh, so let, let, didn't so. Come out. Let me ask you. Um, why? Let me let me ask you a simple. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe it was on the bottom there. Can you hold yeah. that back up? No, if, if you give me sharing capabilities, I'm happy I'm to. I'm just so bad at you see it? I'll read it. It says vehicle exhaust is an air pollutant and a health hazard is what we have at the bottom. And then we have sponsored by the Washington Sustainability Committee. I, I That's fine. I so, think that's good. Yeah. So uh, that's what's at the bottom, Brian. Amy's going to share it because okay. it's showing up backwards. Too. There it is. Oh, yeah. There yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I guess. I guess. I don't know. What is unnecessary idling? Um, you well, know, it's, it's hot out today, so if people want to idle to keep their air conditioner on. That could yeah. be considered necessary. Yeah, I, I think um, the thing that people consider necessary is if there's a pet in the car. You're not supposed to leave children in the car. Yeah. Anyway, really good. But idea. that I I think when we talked about this before, yeah. at least from 
my opinion, we don't want to be out there being the no idling police, you know, but we're trying to encourage people. I get it if it's 95 degrees, you're going in for, I mean, you shouldn't, but I'm not going to, or it's minus 10 degrees. People seem to do it then too, but plenty of people do it when you don't need to do it. And so that's really where I'm thinking of. I'm not going to, nobody's standing out there telling people not to. But so we want, I think when we talked about this before, we wanted to be, try to be a little uh, mindful, mindful hey, of hey. situations where you, where you're going to do it because of the, you know, generally the weather, obviously. Brian, are you sort of thinking that maybe instead word it in such a way, like think twice? No, I'm actually thinking of, up top to, to, to close this. I might say something like uh, protect air protect our air quality, three minute idle limit. And then down below it says why you want to protect air quality because unnecessary idling uh, is, is an air a... and health hazard. Mm -hmm. So it closes the loop there. Um, please no unnecessary idling. I don't know what that means because it's context dependent. Okay. So here we're saying, think about our air quality and think about how long you're idling your car. Yeah. You it's know, I like- It's imposing. Say that yeah. again, what like was it? Right. Uh, uh, protect our um, air quality? Protect our air quality or something simple like that. Oops. Okay. Um, I mean, we all breathe, so air quality should be important to a few people. I feel like that's kind of what we did on our postcard, too. What did we say? Yeah. We said, go idle free. Yeah. Yeah. And, different. And, uh, yeah. Protect. Help yeah. protect Washington, go idle free was what we protect did. Our our that's. that's yeah, sure. That's being proactive. Yeah. But yeah that tells but, you right there, and this is why we've got an idle limit. Yeah, We're trying I, to protect your quality. And make that so what would you and make that bigger. bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can make it bigger. Let me move this yeah, over. Um pretty random stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I can, you, you can, know, put a shadow on it. I can yeah, yeah. the other one. Um you want you want to personalize it, you make it protect your air quality. Put a Y on there. Well, our yeah. makes inclusive like all of us. Right. I like our yeah. because it's you know sort of, it's yeah. your is selfish. Ours is everybody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We're all in this together. Yeah, yeah right. Mm -hmm. I like that. I, I do. I do like that. And I know that the notion of unnecessary um, does pose a question. I mean, I know that just cop cars certain um vehicles must be idling for work business for work reasons i just really want we wanted to jar someone's um thoughts about why the heck they're idling and not just to do it because of comfort right and we did have that discussion about the police idling over here all yep. the time because their uh, their computer system doesn't come out or come back online when they jump in the car and leave I so that's a problem for them so yeah i do uh, think that the law does say i mean the um ordinance or whatever it is for this regulation does talk about certain vehicles uh, they do have a necessary reason yeah i don't remember the reasons for yeah. doing it but i'm happy uh, to do whatever you guys want oh i think I that's like great I, if we could do the protect our air quality maybe in a little bigger font i would like yeah. to do it, but you know um so what I'd like to do in the meantime, and we could, uh, you guys can get this printed so we can. Sure. But I'll get it to Michelle. So um, I'll talk to uh, Jim and uh, about it as well. But I think looking at places where you, you know, yeah. we're all in different parts of town, going different parts of town, you know, where would be appropriate. And then I, I would like to ask if you wouldn't mind asking the, I'm happy WBA to talk, and yeah. see, you know, those owners that have that going on, would they be interested in having a sign? We'll pay for it and, you know, uh, put it up at certain places. Absolutely. I'm happy to talk to some right. of the businesses. I, I was wondering um, if there are rules or thoughts. I think it's the selectmen because the town owns the plaza, yeah. but a couple of the places where it looked appropriate to me would be right under the handicap sign. And I don't know if there's yeah, a rule should. against that or I, not. I thought the same thing you because know, it's a I, sign already there. Have, like the best place, like, if we put one in front of town hall in the circle, yeah. I think the only sign until you get to the do not enter at the end is the handicap right. sign, you know. So I'll check into that. Yeah, so just see if there's rules about that. I don't know. Um, I think 
you know, over in Titus, most of that is owned yep. by either the town or the business. So it's not like it's a DOT thing. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know uh, if there are rules. I, I do have um, sort of strong thoughts about not putting it under a handicapped parking sign because I don't want someone to perceive the sign yeah, as sort of. being um, just for that space. Right. So I think that there might be a more neutral yeah, them to location. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take a walk. Maybe, uh, maybe you and I and, and yeah. grab Jim or, or Kevin and take a walk through at least, mm -hmm. at least this area. And then uh, drive up through New Preston. I'm not looking at places where the town, obviously, but that's why I was wanting to ask businesses if any yeah, of them up on the green would think the, about it. Yeah, oh, maybe yeah. one over at the library. You know, like the library's yeah. got 15 minute yes, they parking do. Yeah. spaces. So you could also we, add the no we, idle. We could add one there, but the why you've been there for 15 minutes. <laughs> but then it's also like I kind of want to make sure everybody sees it. It's not just for that one spot. Oh no! But yeah, right. but so you yeah, it, it, yeah. I, but I also don't want to blanket them everywhere. I right. think that's so if you could cluttering. take this and and maybe get a cost for what it would you know for Evan uh, or Kevin. So and, well, so he can order them, but I yeah. went online. I found them for like twenty five dollars a piece, and they're metal. Yeah, that's great. Right? Yeah, so, you should ask what they so, where they go and what price. I don't know if he ordered. I printed. I, I know that. Kevin's usually. Pretty tight, so you would get try to find a good price for it. But he's yeah. probably got a company he's been using for a while, so we could just double check with them. Uh, I knew I brought it at one point. All right. So while you're looking, we also Michelle and I also talked about putting up some signs to clarify what plastic bags can be recycled, what glasses. How do you you know the not hard to recycle glass, but you're supposed to take the tops off, for example, when you recycle the nut putting your corks or the metal tops on. And then also the food waste. Yeah, so that, I, this is a sample. And we were talking about here. doing something, okay. put yeah. one of these, We if, for those, Sorry. You know, <laughs> so for, for those who haven't seen, you know, who don't know, we put a glass recycling container back here. We really haven't announced it yet because we're still working on getting it. But we, I wanted to, to do this. Did you have a chance? We were going to talk to the. Uh... So I've got a lot to share about the composting. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and decisions need to be made. But... And Jim and Jim was having a uh, a container built for the plastic bucket that we the plastic uh, right. one would be more in an enclosed up, so you can put it outside and it wouldn't get rained on. It have a mm -hmm. top. You'd have to lift the top. Oh, and good idea. So some uh, somebody at the highway department is building one for here and one for up at the transfer station. Because uh, wow. that's they drag it inside, or they put a piece of wood on top of it, or something each night. So, um, uh, I, and then we we're hoping, maybe we're not going to, but we're hoping to be able to put a food waste uh, collection back here, but then have a sign up there, you know, not, but you know, fairly good size that people could see, so they know what you should be doing and not doing up there. Mm -hmm. um, so this was the idea. Yeah, so do you want to hear about the compost? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Sure. <laughs> well, so I, we were concerned about bears. Yeah. And uh, the company that we work with gave me a list of all the towns that have unattended compost that's not in a transfer station. And one of them was Warren, and they have a bear-proof cart. So I talked to uh, Missy, who works up at Warren, yeah. and had yeah. her take a picture of it for me. And so, so this is their cart. So I called USA. They said, well, it's not ours. We don't sell them, but this is who we recommend. So they sent me a link. So I went to that. Well, and also yeah. they um, can't do the large ones, which I guess. They because they don't pick that. So 64 is the largest they can do. This is the company. Or the, uh, the curbside compost. For yes. picking up. Yes. Okay. So. I went to, oh, goodness gracious, I know I printed it. Uh, here it is. So I followed their link. It is called Stealth 2. I watched the <laughs> video. It's amazing. And we were concerned about like the key yeah. thing, but it's not, it's, there's a latch underneath. Yeah. And then it opens. So, and, and I mean, they had so videos of like a bear, it. like rolling it down. It's like it won't, it won't open if you dump it, it wow. like, or jump on it. But it's also designed so that when 
it's uh, tipped up, yeah. it, it'll just open. So it sh hopefully it's not human proof. There's a little sign that sh says how to use it and the lock changes out if something happens to it. The, the thing is they are, um, where is it? They are $569 a piece. So they're not cheap. Interesting, because we have an out at the transfer station. Just the ones, you know, you've those, been to the yeah, those are station. not the, the bear proof. Right, they're not bear proof. They're the ones the company provides. And according to um, the issue there, according uh, to Liz, occasionally you get a bear that knocks one over, but they really can't even lift the top up enough with the lock on it to be able they might get a couple of things out, but they really can't get much out and they don't have a problem. The thing that's nice about this, in addition to the bear proofing part, is that the lock, because up there they lock, you know, it, and it, when they go home at night, if you've sure. been up there, they have that big lock on there to keep them from opening. Mm -hmm. We'd so have we to, wouldn't have to keep track of a key right, or, that's the, or that's anything like that. Itself, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a it's a yeah. mechanism underneath that you have to slide to the side so bears can't figure it out. Um, so, and also for the pricing, cause you had said two carts and what we have up at the transfer station are the 32 gallons. Yeah, so how big are these? That is a 64 and they can pick up a 64. So, then I'll think so just we could just one. start with one and yeah. see if it fills. So the, their pricing is, uh, so two 32 gallon carts is 303, $303 a month and two 64 gallon carts is 323 a month. So it's basically like $300 to come. Yeah. And then the, the number of carts is, doesn't matter that much. So I felt like we should just do the 64. Do one big, yeah. And if if for whatever reason we don't use it back here, we can bring it up to this transfer station. The only thing is I was like, I'm more concerned that somebody's gonna steal it. Art. Well, we'll figure out. We'll get. Uh, we'll is get, there a camera back there? Yeah, uh, I don't know, but we can also get um, uh, 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 Kevin or Mark to put something to be able chain to it chain down. it down. So when it's uh, well, but yeah. they they have a truck that lifts. Yeah, it. Like, so when we'll they come, yeah, yeah, I mean they we know when they're coming because I believe Liz. Well, maybe they have a regular schedule, so we know. So yeah, but I think we can okay. take care of that too. So. Before, it's uh, it did say in the email um before we buy the cart and um, because it's a new design i'm supposed yeah. to send them it to them to make sure it'll work with their truck yeah all right lift it yeah um and okay. then if it's approved you know we just go ahead and let's, order let's, it and... let's do that check with them and yeah let's do okay, that okay so I'll, and... I'll so i'll check the cart and then um so we'll buy one first yeah, yeah. we'll buy one so here's two things. So this sign then would be what we put back there for people to know what they should be doing or not mm -hmm. doing. And I, I did talk to Liz about, because they have an old one that uh, WEC had put up at the transfer station. So we thought we'd replace it with a yeah. sign with, that gave all this information uh, yeah. on it. So, so, Jay, is there, so are there going to be more than one container? Like, is there going to be a container for glass? Yes. Okay. One for food waste and then one for the plastic one that we have out here. Um, so I, I think, I mean, we oh. we don't have to probably do it at, at a meeting, like, but I can have vinyl stickers made. So I could have like a sticker for, and just that says compost to put yeah. right on the container. Yeah, that we should do. Right. Yeah, so. And so oh, it's containers, which are. Right. Well, because yeah, there's plastic. I mean, right. clearly yeah. the glass yeah. is pretty yeah. obvious. Don't overestimate what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Right. <laughs> and that one only has the three things that are going to be out back. Right. If we want a new one for the transfer yeah. station, then I, I you know, yeah, I'll we should look at more. that because the transfer station one is more of the uh, what you can recycle in the regular recycling stream versus what you can't. So that does have a lot more information. Right. On it. But so I'll take, well, I'll at some point go up and yeah, take pictures see if of we can it. Do that. What we need to update. It's, it's a pretty, you, you got, it was a pretty it's big sign. Big. So maybe it's one like that we just put one. another one, like another it. sign next to it with this additional stuff rather than, because right. that's all, they have got a long list of what's available, what's good and what's, what's not good up on that one. So yeah, this yeah. is nice at a glance. Yeah, so take a look at it. If you have any questions, suggestions about it, let us know. Um, one other thing that um, Jim is, we Jim and I have been talking about for a while, and, and we finally, Jim has identified a company 
that will, and we're still working on this, so I, I, I you know, um, we hope that it'll work out. A company that will bring like a bottle collection machine, like you go when you go to the grocery store, you feed it in there, and the we the town would collect the money. So I I could go down and bring all my I don't get the five or well, ten cents now back, cents. but the money would all go to a, a a charity nonprofit of our choice, and we could designate one each month, and whatever's collected that month. It goes to the it goes to the organization, so Steep Rock or you know the community fund oh, or you know great. scholarship, whatever yeah. you know uh, we we want to decide. So I mean, I've got so many. I that sounded bad. I have a bunch of beer bottles in my, in my basement, <laughs> and it's a pain in the neck to bring them back. You know, right, right. I never think of it when I'm getting That's you fine. know when That's I fine. stop. So yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure That's wine good. bottles are equivalent in some people's houses. <laughs> so uh, empty at that. So anyway, I, this I think that would one of the issues was they have to put it in a place that is access, accessible all the time. Uh, so we uh, are talking about with them about putting it again. It would be end up being back here because that's accessible and, and yeah, people right. could, could access that's it. That's like an auxiliary transfer yeah. station. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to make it too big. Obviously, yeah. you know, we got a smaller size glass container than the one up there. Just but I thought because we need that parking, we yeah. don't want to take right. it all up. Or right. So, so I, I, I'm hoping that we can work that out because I think it's a great. I mean, I'd rather do that with my the, with the stuff I have. And I think if you knew this, you, this this month is going to be Steep Rock. I'll bet you some people who work for Steep or people that you know would be down here bringing their bottles that month and all. So sure. anyway, sure. Um, so that's that's in, info to come. All right. Okay. Uh, Sounds like a good idea. So invasive species intern, uh, we were not able to get an intern from uh, the Ag Science Program. And I was talking to Brian about this and and uh, I thought he had, you got what, how many interns, Brian? Five, six? Six. Six. So we were wondering, uh, and I'm, we haven't finished our discussion. I don't know, Brian, if you've had a chance to follow up, but we were thinking if we could, the town could take one of those interns if they're interested in working additional hours. They work 20 hours a week now. For, for us, you. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they could work 15 hours for us, 20 if they really want to work, and we could then have them survey, do the work that Brian's doing in Steep Rock, do it on our on our property along the along the river. Because the oh. first thing we had talked about was trying to, as Brian suggested, was we need to do a survey of what's there. So we know then what right. how do we want to deal with it. So I'm not sure if Brian's had a chance yet to talk to anybody to see if there's anybody interested, but that's at least an option that we were trying to consider. Jay, I I emailed you last week with a name. You did? Oh yeah, I think I did Friday after I talked to her. This intern that I dropped the name on uh, was involved in mapping our invasives last year, and they did the uh, knotweed as their as their project for us last year. Uh, she said she hadn't heard from you, but uh, no, that's right. and I got well, the email that you, you I knew you were talking to the. I, I missed I it, so sorry. Yeah. Um, I, I see see I see see that individual on on my response, and uh, uh, I think she goes back to school early to mid August, but she's available and she's great. All right, would you and, mind? And we wouldn't even need to train her. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. even better because she's you, done uh, this work. Would you resend that to me, Brian, and I'll look I will do. Way. Thank you. All right. So that's, that's and I great. talked to Jim, we have the funds, so we'll, we'll do that and see how we, at least we can get that started. And, so, and then for, she's waiting to hear from you. Great. I'll, I'll Future years, we'll try to coordinate. Coordinate. Yeah. I know you had a good group of people apply, Brian. And, and uh, so we'll, burn. we'll work with you and we're going to pay whatever they're Brian's paying. So that's great. 50 um, an hour. Yeah. 50 an hour. <laughs> you, you no, no, we're not that good. <laughs> All right. I, I just wanted to update you on some town purchases. Um, we uh, recently purchased a Ford F-150 truck for our facilities manager that is all electric. Nice. So you might be, he does. He was a little skeptical, I would be honest to say. Then he drove it. And yeah. I, now he's like a teenager. It's like that thing picks up like that. I mean, oh, I have. What I, color I, is it? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Probably red. I don't know. <laughs> It it was we we were lucky. First off, there's a there's a a, a a grant program the state has for municipalities, so we got a very reduced price. 
And this was a, a, a truck some other town had ordered, and then they decided they didn't want it or something happened, funding or whatever. So so otherwise, we were thinking we're going to wait for quite a while to get it. So we were already yeah. got it. So that's great. Um, we also, um, after the last storm, um, uh, Joe, what's his our, our, our state trooper, mm. uh, asked if we would purchase a an electric chainsaw for him. Cause he's out and there's a tree oh. down right by my yard the other on my road right. the other yeah. day and he gets there first and he waits an hour and two hours for the any especially the state that. road to yeah. show up. and if it's not on a wire he can cut some of the stuff and get it out of the road mm -hmm. so we also talked to uh kevin about that and mm -hmm. they're going to purchase one for the uh town garage as well oh, okay. and uh and and use that and we'll get a sense whether that jim has jim uh Britain has one at home and he, he he loves it. He says in terms of it, power and, and all that is is just what he had when he had a, a, a you know a, a gas powered one. Um we do buy a couple extra batteries so that you you know replace them as yeah. you go. Yeah. But um you know so that's another thing the town is trying okay. to do. So that's that's a great topic. I like that. Uh, another update here just about the Lake Warmog study. I spoke with Jim um this week and they have met with the folks. They've actually had a an individual who's a professional wake boat driver who drove on drove the wake boat for the for the group while they were studying it. And they've got cameras underwater studying what happens there. Um, Jim's expecting actually their report to be to us the end of August. I thought it was a little later than that, but I guess they get. But they're at, coming back one more time in August. Maybe right? that's what it is. Yeah. Then, yeah. So, I, so you probably know more, right? Not really. but I was glad to hear it's going, uh, um, you know, it seems like happen. they're, 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 you know, they're serious about their work and they're getting it done and we'll get this report, you know, Perfect. Uh, the, I hope next month. All right. So last month you guys had a discussion. We were talking about noise ordinance and we sort of thought maybe we, mm -hmm. maybe the better way is to deal with two cycle engines and how do we, so. I think one of the issues you you guys talked about was can we provide a tax break to to businesses in town right. purchasing that kind of equipment? I had a talk with Jim, and yes, we can. It'd be oh, an that, ordinance uh, that we'd have to go through, you know, like we do with an ordinance. We just passed an ordinance on on uh, tax break for people in affordable housing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, and, you guys approved it. it oh, it's got to go to town meeting, right. but, but yeah. it's like the ordinances we passed before on other items. Uh, and we we do what was it? 10 we did like we give it a, a, a tax incentive for firemen who work and an right. ambulance folks who work in half hours yep. and there's a property tax incentive for them uh, there's elderly, elderly. And, abatement, oh. and what there's an old one on the books about solar and it's not even panels it's right. energy right. systems or something so but anyway so the precedent. town has done this kind of thing before so um i think it's a you know right, yeah. we, we should continue to look into that and and, and see um how that worked. I was looking at the one like the housing and, you know, I, I questioned who decides what that, you know, I don't, the ordinance so, doesn't say the one we did there. I, so I have the lawyer working yeah. on that. I went back to all the others we yeah. have. Some go to the assessor and some go to the select, like the fireman. To make a decision. The fireman well, okay. goes to the selectman. Yes, right. Because people approve that every elderly year. elderly or, and the something else go to the assessor. So okay. I think we might need to clarify the affordable housing. But yeah, it, so, so we can. So we can. You know, think about right. So uh, decide. Who think about that to. and um and do that, I, which I think is just, you know I don't know how many. One of the things we wanted to do was ask the uh, assessor because they categorize all the business. How many actual landscaping companies yeah. are at the beach where registered in town? Registered you know, because you, 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 we can't do it obviously to companies outside of um, right. So that's how we would find them. Yes. And that's how you can give them a break because right. they're paying tax on that equipment. Right. So that you could okay. go to an assessor, yeah. go to yeah. the assessor, yeah. probably go online okay. and do it now the way things are, but I don't know how to sort that. Possibly. Yeah, yeah it's kind of hard. I, ha I They gave me a report once and it was like all these yeah. pages yeah. of this yeah. micro type. So, um, but I, it's a wonderful opportunity if once we get the language and yep. we get it passed to 
write, you know, write an article for the newsletter and promote, Absolutely. you know, to, to yeah. publicize yeah. Yeah. like this yeah. town meeting about yeah. this ordinance for recycle, right. you know, yeah. for electric, yeah. why we're doing it. Right. And so, and I really like that Michelle and I were talking some of the discussion you folks had about just people talking to their landscapers to say, mm -hmm. I've been you know, doing uh, that. Who was the one gentleman you said you talked to? I don't know if that was before so, this meeting or after. Quist, so, no, it was Barbara ba Braverman said right. she spoke with Carl Quist and mm -hmm. he said, I guess. was all over it. Yeah. 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 So, and, and and the other person you sent me in an article about or well, somewhere so that, um, and was I've, that? I scanned it in yeah. for everybody and yeah. sent You're it. Right. That right. was where, where Carol brought that in. And people, oh, yes, yeah. that was yeah. right. Yeah. I've read that, and, you know, here. He's charging more, but he's you know people want to pay for that. You know if you do right. that. Yeah, so, uh, I I I think there's a real opportunity for yeah. landscape companies to be to be able to say greener and quieter, like yeah. Yeah. the quiet company. Uh, it would be mm -hmm. a great tagline. Yeah. So, so you know all these things like the the truck that the the town yeah. just bought. Are we advertising this somewhere? Well, Michelle asked me the other day about. I mean, I read. No, that was about writing an article about where oh, our garbage goes. Yeah, article yeah. About what's yeah. sustainability. Okay. We need to. That needs to get put out there right, over right. and over again. Yeah, I got it. We're a green town. I'm not um, great about <laughs> the weekly updates and that kind of stuff. So if some folks would like you, you don't know, do the. You mean the monthly? The well, the, the monthly, and also and, given something to, uh, yeah. to put in the, the weekly selectmen's, um, you know, uh, selectmen's email blast. So, so Jay, because I don't think so. Once a month, they do a boards and yeah, commission. Yeah, that's the thing I'm not doing. I'm, right, and I do the EDC one. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to. What I th it, the idea is to just let our citizens know what we're doing. doing right. Yeah, and I. If, what I do for EDC is I pick the one or two big things we talked about. I keep it short. Yeah. Nobody wants to read a novel. I put right. a picture in if I can. So like we're talking about a bazillion things. Yeah. I would pick one or two. Yeah. Well, but it's just one more opportunity to get in front of people. I, I I'll try to. I, if you want, I'll help. I would be great. I I just see Mandy's email that she sends out, and then just doesn't seem to be. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. No, I get I'm it. Not great. I get it. I, I, just not great at following up on that. So. Um, if anybody else would like to help Michelle with that kind of stuff, that'd be great. Um, but I think that's you're right that we need to be out there letting people know more what what we're trying to do. I mean, all this stuff is like, yeah, yeah. let's put it yeah. out there. And yeah. and I have to say, everywhere, and we we've had this too. What was the last event that we did? People say oh, we were there. I had no idea. And yeah, they got I, the newsletter, and they were our newsletter yeah. was a big hit, yeah. a huge yeah. hit. Yeah. And we need we can write we can do a big hit. Over well, and over again. Well, we, well, we have money to do at least a couple or do some money and stuff. Yeah. No, uh, I, well, I'm happy to help. No, but yeah, yeah. no. Like we should. I think we should do the the that every year. Yeah. Earth Day. Absolutely. Sustainable newsletter. Yes. Every year. Yeah. Yes. Right. But regular updates are very. And updates too. and the quarterly newsletter for the town. We'll do. We definitely need to do that. The due date's going to be August. Oh, I gotta get. I gotta let people know. Okay. What are they? What are those? Go. Those are the we do. Oh, what is it? Quarter, yeah, quarterly the town newsletter. quarterly newsletter that also gets so mailed home. September first, June first, yeah, March first, whatever. So Something where like do that. they need it by? So, so the September one, the due date is going to be about August ten. Usually, the turnaround of proofing, layout, printing. Can we keep this purchase yeah. of yeah. control whatever we want in there. Update. Um, transfer station yeah. stuff and August yeah. what? Uh, 10. Oh, let's just say 10. Yeah. Let's yeah. Give or take like a day or two. One on the, the, the electric, you know, this stuff. Yeah. And then a different one about what the, the um, you know, recyclable uh, options that people have yeah, and yeah. where you yeah. can go. And hopefully by that point, Jim, Jim will have an idea about that um, uh, re bottle return thing that we're looking at. And mm -hmm. we'll have the, you know, the food waste thing back. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Publicizing all, right. all that. Yep. Yeah. On, well, you, I don't you know, repeat the message frequently. I, yeah. I, right? I don't think we can say it enough. No, I don't so think it's amazing time how time many people. Learn, don't. Before you oh, that learn. reminds me. 50 <laughs> so, 50 so, Jay, I didn't yeah. even tell you this. I just had a, a conversation with Jim, but um, if, while the community center is on hold, the big board in the hallway, I got permission to change out the, that to be. 
the sustainability stuff that we're doing oh. because the transfer station picture that's in the foyer people ask all the time and they take the flyers right. off it that'd be great yeah. so right. so we're gonna all right that's good news. so i'll i'll work on that that's that up, up. So i'll do something on electric gotcha. equipment and also on an update of recycling and that we're doing Unfortunately, apparently we lost our book recycler, whoever was picking up the books up at um, up at the transfer station. They said they called them 20 times. They just like it's overflowing. They're not there. They don't, you know, so they put a sign they're not collecting books up there right now because oh. they can't get the contractor who had originally brought the, the oh. thing there to, to come and pick it up. So we're she's working on trying to see if, if there's somebody, somebody else, else we could replace yeah. it with. But so it's good to we, I, you know, after talking to Michelle, you folks talked about, you know, like a forum for contractors, also educating the public. Um, so I, you know, I think it's a great idea. I think that, you know, if we talk about an ordinance and bring the contractors in and tell them, hey, if you buy this stuff, not only is it good for your business, but, you know, uh, you know, you can get a tax break from it as well. That's great. Um, educating the public. Um, what thoughts about? Uh, well, like through the newsletters yeah, yeah. and our posters. I mean, I mean, I think that's that's like I mean, our best we, avenue, right? I think so. I mean, we can do a postcard too, like we did about the idling, mm -hmm. or a smaller newsletter. You know what I like is you had had and Jim had gotten when we had a issue with when we bought some well weed whacker was it or something that we were buying for the town. We had some folks weren't happy with that. And Jim did a lot of research on uh, what, what, how much noise one caused versus the other. And those, I'll, I'll get that from him. And we, I think that's a first, a good way to, to, to talk about it as yeah. well. And, yeah. and, yeah. and, and, and mm -hmm. suggest to people that. Well, and we were, when we were talking last time, we were just kind of brainstorming about like some of the issues that might come up. And one of them was batteries and whether we could provide you know, plug in places at the transfer, I mean, at the town garage or here, so people can switch out their batteries or, or something, you know, an exchange program. I have no idea. Yeah. But to try to facilitate if battery life is an issue. Um, you know, I, I just had a thought. I could talk to the printer. So the quarterly newsletter that we do for the town. I wonder if I if we did like a like a green piece of paper as like an insert, and we had sustainable information. Oh, it's a separate page and rather than articles there. here or there. That'd well, be, I mean, because yeah. the, the production of the newsletter and the mailing, printing and mailing, what did that cost? It was like four thousand. Yeah, it was the four thousand. Yeah, that we had. Yeah. You know, it's no small thing. That's a quarter. Yeah. Well, well, so we are, the town already does a quarterly, and what I'm saying oh, is for sustainability, a, a piece of that quarterly the town does. So no, no, we do the town does a quarterly. Anybody yeah. who basically uh, sustain, uh, well, and I any, put it any, together. You know, yeah, and anybody who uh, any commission wants or non profit in there, we have yeah. non profits that put stuff in yeah. there, and but all. I, okay. I it's like. Space is limited. Yeah. Uh, there's like a whole thing. So you right. Have so many words that you can write. Yeah. All that pictures, but but, but to do if something sustainability paid for, for that the one page, page. The answer. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, because they it doesn't cost more. It per item is not by weight. Yeah. So, or at least or once, even if we didn't do it quarterly, that that's an idea of, well, of find how out to, about that and maybe you, you can find yeah. out soon because you got an August 10th deadline mm -hmm. for this right. next newsletter. That yeah. would be it's a good time to work with to, to, to me about some of this stuff, especially at like you know buying electric equipment and that. Yeah, is, yeah. yeah, that's important. And um, sure, and we have a lot of folks here for the summer in terms of recycling and all. So yeah, that's a good. Thing. I think as a consumer in town, one of the things I'd be most interested in is okay. Who, who, which landscapers are green or do electric? Yeah. And who can I contact for, like, get a couple of things on my property or whatever? And if we could, and, and you know, somehow get a, uh, a list of all the vendors, landscapers in town, and, and maybe 
separate it out with do you do do you use electric equipment or don't you or can you or have you whatever uh, well that would be yeah cool. i think and, the idea like you should go yeah and then we'd have our whole audience some of whom are like already converts but some of whom could see the benefit and then we'd have like um basically the group we knew we were trying to address i think that's great we it, talked about first starting with the people the people who are doing the town hall. The yeah, Scots. yeah, Scotch. Yeah. And it's Meadowbrook who does Judy Black yeah. and is there every week, you know, and I uh, forget his name. He's wonderful. Are these people based in Washington? No. Not all of them. No. But they service a lot of properties. Yeah, and one of the things, actually, I oh, forgot so to they talk to Jim about them. Right. Well, the other thought was to talk to, look, look that the town should be contracting with folks who are moving that way as well. Yes. In okay. town to buy so support right. our if we're going to yeah. do it, yeah. we should right. be exactly. having the town do that. I'd right. like to talk well, to them be, about that. If that yeah. happened, that would be a great thing to publicize. Yeah. Well, not only do we have green trucks, we hire green contractors. Right. Well, can who, uh, Michelle, I don't want to keep dumping this stuff on you, but it, uh, it, can we, if you talk to, if somebody's willing to talk to the assessors to see what kind of list we can get from them as to who, well, I'll do that. that those are businesses. That's right. ADC's. Theater. All right. So no. I'll, All right. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. So in the meantime, I think if we can look at uh, 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 ordinance takes a while to get a vet it and all that sort of stuff and have a town meeting. But if we could um, talk about, you know, get that going, because if we had that and we had a meeting with these folks and said, by the way, you could also receive a tax break because this yeah. you know, but you gotta have the ordinance in place because it has to go it's not like the selectman get his pass it has to go to a town meeting which mm -hmm. is fair mm -hmm. uh, you know no all town ordinances yeah right. that's no problem but okay we'd have to do that so um so to write up an ordinance to because that's you know so what I did for the yeah. affordable housing one is I found I searched other towns that had one to get some sample language and then uh, yeah. went from there. So we would just find one and then obviously have Randy review it before right. we bring it. We also can look at the language of the existing ordinances that we have. The like yeah. the solar panel one, it's like four sentences long. I mean, I don't think it's, it has, it's, like, it's not rocket science. I, I, I do wonder, I mean, the elderly one, is it the elderly one? Shoot, I was just looking at those today. Uh, it is pretty long because there's like all these conditions that must be right. met. Right. You know, it still goes to the assessor. But so the process, I think, would be important. What do you right. do? You photocopy a receipt? Like, how do you prove that? Yeah, this? yeah, yeah. And, and well, that could be, you know, the ordinance can be written as such that the then the, the regulations behind it are approved by the selectman's office or something. So you don't have that, the, the idea to begin with. How the process goes to get approval can not have to be a part right. of the assessor. Right. We or, can put or in the there that the be doing it, they can just have a form on right. The and, or, yeah, and you can you know uh, say in the ordinance that the regulations for you know that will be approved by mm -hmm. the board of selectmen. So uh, the assessor is not a elected that, official. So are we are we thinking only? Um, well. Oh yeah, no, because residents don't pay property tax on their equipment. Right. It's just businesses, so right. it's just businesses. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. anybody have uh, would would like to see if you can find a town around that does give a tax break on that I kind of thing? Around. Carol, would you do that? That'd be great, and see if you can find some we could use to plagiarize it. <laughs> that works. Well, you don't right. want to reinvent Nobody the wheel. That's right. No. Nobody's written anything new in. Hit it up and running. All right. Um, so that'd be great. And, and, and as far as the, um, the public goes, I will get that, that, uh, the, um, stats that Jim had about the, uh, electric versus, um, gas and, and I'll write an article for, if we can do the green page or if we can do yeah. an article there for the uh, paper, this is a good yeah, time of year. The, the, that article, that guy had done some. Yeah, oh, there was stuff in here too. too. Yeah. I found an article in a landscaping magazine that talked about, because it was not just the. Uh, I'm pretty sure you sent out an email with. Um, I, think, I think I sent the, th this that other, one, yeah. but this. No, 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 but a while back. So about, this. 
is from Landscape Management. So it's a landscape management publication. Yeah. And the article was, is it time to make the switch and add battery powered equipment to your fleet? And, you know, they talked about performance, emissions, sound, cost to maintain, cost to run, you know, and, and there are, are, are yeah, there's pros and cons. Yeah, yeah, pros and cons. But what that article said, and I'm pretty sure what this one said, is that, you know, mowers are still kind of like, they're, they're, the electric ones are super expensive to get the ones, you know, to get the ones that are like the, the oh, yeah. commercial side, the big ones. But that the leaf blowers and the weed whackers, they're inexpensive, yeah. performs virtually the same, battery life, pretty good, like, those were sort of no brainers. The mowers is kind of a big investment, yeah. and yeah. but the, the leaf and the stuff that would be a good place to start because that's really so noisy. So, so noisy, yeah, and, well, I mean, and they're yeah. doing it usually now for it's longer. Longer. Yeah, it seems like right? the mowing they goes quick. They in thirty minutes and then they right. blow for four right. hours. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. and when when it when Every the leaves grade. come down, then you've got all of them out there with their leaf blow right. blowing the leaves right. across the yard. And, and so this is mulching, the portable mulching. That's right. You got to get the mulching okay. in the yeah. fall. Article on mulching. What well, I did find yeah. out was the did research I did on electric mowers. Is that they are all mulching capable? That they're all powerful enough to mulch. Yeah. So that's not a drawback. I think mean, the guy that they, they interviewed are, in that article was yeah. talking about yeah. that. Dude, he's now mulching. Yeah. Instead of doing the leaves, and everybody's been super happy. When I saw um, uh, Penny, not Blue, Blue Penny. Penny, yes, uh, about the wells, he went on about his mowing business. Has forty six customers in town and Brookfield and elsewhere. Yeah. He mulches in forty three of them. And the only three he doesn't is just because it's too wet, and he yeah. didn't exhaust the grass clip clippings and everything would jam up. Yeah, yeah. But, so that's I mean, incredible. That's if you awesome. get a percentage like that going, that would be really great. It so, would be. Anyway, yeah, yep. yeah. I'm Good. doing this year. It's great. No more getting off the thing and having to. Throw the grass. You know? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I just throw some wood, years, fortunately, it but you know, yeah, I don't right. bag it up or do yeah. anything, but it, boy, it's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the leaves last year, that was the best. Right back into the That's what I do. I, now yeah. I do. I never did that before until last year. We talked about it, and, and I did it this year for the leaves, and it was like, what a what a moron. I mean, I could have been, I spent so many hours out there doing this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, my and the lawn is so happy. Yeah. The lawn yeah. is so happy. Great to me. Yeah. I don't care yeah. whether it's happy or not. I don't have to bring that. You know, <laughs> yeah. You're happy. I'm happy. Yeah. Yes, All totally. Right. All right. So we have a couple of things we're going to do here. On yeah, on that's that. a lot. We're going to look into. Uh, uh, you're going to look into see if other towns have any kind of ordinance on on giving on an ordinance tax breaks for break for break. companies uh, purchasing that kind of equipment. We're going to do a newsletter article about what the town has done in terms of buying electric equipment and what we're starting to, and also talk about the the try to put in some stats there about why it's why it's beneficial and all, and uh, and I think that's if we do those two things and we get it, then it'd be great to be able to bring in the, the and and you're you're going to find the local landscaping company list. Yep. And I, I think, think it'd be that. great if we could do something like that with them. Um, knowing an ordinance is, is is in process, if nothing else, that right. they were going to bring this in, so you can. Yeah, you know, I, I feel it's like hard to get them together now, anyway, because they're all working. They're all working, yeah. right? Um, you know how like WEC sometimes does talks at the library or somewhere yeah. educational. We've had good luck with those. Yeah, yeah. you have, and I feel yeah. like bringing in one or two of the sort of. It may be like in the winter when they're not flat out busy, yeah. but these landscaping people yeah. who are really good and, and doing like an education. Should and you know, the library is a great today. place to do it because they advertise oh, yeah. and be, people are used yeah. to going. And it would yeah. be great if we had somebody that was a company in town that did right. that kind yeah. of stuff and somebody would be willing to speak to. Yeah, they make it business. It's, it's always yeah. better, you know. Yeah. Not some. Everything botanical doesn't. Well, well, well yeah. we'll work on that. All right. Yep. All right. Um, I had under new business solar panels on town hall. So a number of years ago, I uh, was working with a, a 
company out of Hart, a nonprofit out of Hartford to look at. Uh, they were doing a program offering uh, free solar, basically. What you did, we, you, there's two ways to go about it. You could buy a solar system, the town do it, uh, could, and we'd get all the benefits from it, but we'd be responsible for all the maintenance and all that kind of stuff. And Or you can go to a company who will basically put it on, they own it, and we get some 20, 30% back of the energy that we save, uh, that the energy that the system produces. You you, you buy the electricity it produces at a at lower discounted rate. rate. Basically, so, you're still uh -huh. buying from, C uh, from Eversource, but you get a discounted rate for it. It's not the full amount that you would get if you own the system, mm -hmm. but it's still, mm -hmm. you know, we, we went for get the discounted rate because we didn't want to own it. We didn't want to be responsible for for maintenance, if something doesn't work, it you know all that stuff, and you basically have to have a maintenance contract yeah. during the year to deal with that. So we went the other way. So we did do it on the um, firehouse. It is working. Things are going there. It's uh, been you know successful. We had talked originally about uh, one of the other buildings was this building because this building really has a good south facing area. We had a meeting with the trustees for those of you. I didn't know this, but if, if you might know that, you know, there are a board of trustees for this building. And mm -hmm. part of our agreement with them is that when we're doing work in the building, we work with them to do it. Um, they'll, they have a, 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 a fund that they, they at times um, do the work themselves. They've done, they paid for some things and the town has done others. So it's a good working relationship. So we had gone to them probably two or three years ago and talk to them about this and they were reluctant to do it they, they and and primarily because they didn't think the look would be right on they this building over them so. I, that's so <laughs> i don't think that's exactly what i how i'd like to put it if you don't mind i don't want to get that that. <laughs> so, all right I'm making a list here not carol that's, that's not <laughs> so but I would like to, I, I, and it's all local folks. I mean, they're all people who live in town here or on board. So it's not that they're, you know, people that aren't, you know, you all, you know, Sam Averill's a part of it. Jeff Hammond's a part of it. Uh, Kathy Lindley's on the board. Barbara, even know his name. Uh, Robert Brown is on it. And I don't remember if there's one other person I don't recall at the moment. So they're all people in town. And, and you know, I think I'm, I'm not going to speak for each one of them, but I think that the end was not, it was certainly not that the town, you know, uh, the issue about saving money or anything, it was just about the look. So I yeah, I, I would like to resurrect, have a meeting again with them to, to talk to them about that mm -hmm. because, you know, two or three years later, times have changed and, you know, I, I'm hoping that they'll, um, they'll, they'll th rethink it. Uh, we've, you know, you go by the firehouse and you hardly notice that there's really panels on the wall, you know, and now there are so many in so many places that people don't even notice. Yes. So I have a question. Where would they be? They'd be on this side of the building. So no one's going to even know. Well, it'd be on, if you're standing at the well, post office, yeah, that's really okay. pretty much the only place because even at the food market, you really don't notice it, but it's, from, it's, there, from, from, from the soul, from the food, if you're standing at the post office, you see it. I mean, without a doubt. And that roof is, is perfect for it. It's huge and uh, really good. good the yeah. money the town would save. Yeah, and plus part of our effort, of course, in town is to show we right. have putting our money where our mouth right. is. So, yeah. so. so I just want to throw in like yeah. really quick. I went to um, a chat with the new commissioner of economic community, community development for the state. Yeah. And somebody asked him, I think it was like last month, asked him what he sees as the uh, future issues to deal with, yeah. and electricity was one of them. Yeah, but... said AI and um, well, the fact that AI takes so much, much takes a lot, a lot, and we are not increasing. Well, and so we yeah. have all these electric cars, so the yeah. demands are increasing, and our supply is not right. Good. So anytime we, that's a great we, one to talk about, right? That's anytime we can. Show. It is yeah. actually. It That's is the special. bottom line. When it is, I was thinking about it because I just got my bill and my solar panel. I got a credit last month. I, wow. I produced more than I used wow. during an AC month. Wow. And it, like, can you imagine if we had brownouts when it's this hot? Mm -hmm. yep. Which yep. happened in Texas. You yeah, know, rolling because, around in New York, you know, a lot of places. Yeah. Like so, it's going to get helping worse. the grid is crucial. 
And that's that's certainly something that would make sense to a lot of it's something to latch on to. Right. What's in it for me? Yeah, well, I mean, some people are kind of not as into the environment as we are. Right. But but this is this is helping to make sure we don't lose power. Well, it's part of educating the public. <laughs> These are I mean, the issues. Say, this is how yeah. it impacts all of us. Right. And it's looking down the line so that we end up stuck without power. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just personally speaking, I've had solar panels for 10 years on, on um, my barn and so on the house, and there's never been any issue at all. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I've had them on the office for over 10 years. Yeah. 10 years so maybe. Great. Yeah. I mean, no repairs, no, no, yeah. you know, things happening to them. So, yeah. Um. I I think they they advertise you know that they only last so long because they have to. Right. But they really are better than. I think but, they I think they over time produce less, but you know two yeah. percent less a year. Yeah, so it's you like, know it's small. Hardly noticed. But I yeah. think the issue here is more the look. I mean, this is you know a store, not a store yeah. building well, so much. But it it's a, yeah, and it's you know it's it yeah. is a classic looking building, and you want to make it. Me be sure it, it continues yeah. to look like that, you know, but they can put them out on the lawn lot. too. Well, we talked about that, but uh, there's not enough. We when the company came in, uh, and there really uh, not, enough. not enough space there unless you're using this. I, so I, I that lawn is here. I'm not a huge fan of putting them over lawns, but yeah. I love them over parking. Well, we did talk about that over here, and there's just not enough. You just you know, don't get enough. No so. rain, it's great. Right, it's change your car, car keeps yeah. it cooler. Right. Yeah. right, and it's you know putting a, a solid surface over a solid surface. Well, that's an interesting thought. Uh, we talked about doing it in the back lot when we had the company come, and there just wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. And it's not south facing. Mm -hmm. Certainly, is south facing all along in oh, in the plaza. This, that'd be interesting. In the plaza. I don't know. Well. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just a thought. So I know there are companies, I don't know if the one you're working with, um, that will do a rendering of the building with the yeah. the panels. Yeah. And if we show the com the committee, commission, yeah. the trustees, whatever, mm -hmm. look like. that you won't see it from the front, you know, because yeah. that's the classic picture right. that's, you, you know, in the, yeah. that's on the cover oh, of everything, yeah, you know, that. You know yeah. that might make them feel better. We can, yeah, it might well, be my cost to get uh, a concrete, concrete in this, you know. Yeah. I so mean, like when they put up those balloons, this is how it would look like. Right, I, yeah. right. Okay. I mean, I think the, the, the visual from the front is really important, mm -hmm. and I get that. Mm -hmm. And if they could feel confident that yeah. that's still, you know, the drive-by still looks good, you can still get the picture. It's just if you're at the market, you'll see them. Uh, then, even the market is it's not a great. It, it, I've been, you know, I've I've done that. It, I, yeah, if you were really looking, you'd see. But really, the only place you really, if you came out of the post office and just were looking up in the air, you 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 know, you see well, the roof you, more. You the but, building from that side, nobody takes pictures of that side. Yeah, it's no, big, yeah. There's nothing fancy there, so yeah. I I just don't. Yeah. I think the aesthetic. I think we could work with that. Yeah. I want to go to the yeah. other. All right. So that's one question I was having. So right. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to um um well Jeff's right here in the office and he's one that folks on the committee about getting a meeting together. But first I'd like to do what you were suggesting. I'm gonna talk to the um uh, the folks that we worked with to do the firehouse and see if that's if there's a way they can do here's how it would look from the front, here's how it would look from Judy yeah. Black, here's how it would look, you know, just to get that there. That, that, and from the road, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, the road you're not going to see it at all, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's great. All right, so I'll ask when I'm ready, when I do that, and I'll talk to Jeff about getting the folks together, and um, and we'll go for, we'll awesome. go for it. I think it's a good It's, it's, it's a, good a lot of surface out there. Yeah. 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 It's going to create a yeah. lot of electricity. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's it's south facing for the most part, so it's great. Oh my God, my 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 office is hot as Hades. I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other any other business that anybody? Yeah, else Jay. Has? Yes. Brian. Um, this is. I know we've talked about this a long time ago, and you haven't talked about it lately. And uh, if it's not appropriate, I'll take it offline with Michelle. But Denise and I were talking today about uh, signage for our preserves. And it's a zoning issue, and somehow we were on top of it, and then it slipped off our all our radar. Uh, I'm getting a lot of complaints from visitors to our preserves that 
They don't know where they're going. And they could even be, they were even in our parking lot at Steep Rock and they asked me, is this the Steep Rock Preserve? And mm -hmm. so, you know, uh, are we still limited to that four square foot, only one location um, for a four foot sign? Because we have multiple entrances to our preserves. And as I understand the regs now, um, for, for any preserve except Macrocosta, since we already have the permit for that, um, if we want to put up a four square foot sign, we have to have neighbor approval, which uh, means we have to contact every abutter, which for us is really expensive. Oh, uh, we did one for Macrocostas a couple of months ago and it ran a $633 just for Macrocostas. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, um, I, think, I think signage, we've talked about signs a lot this meeting earlier, uh, but, um, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about it for the farms and the nonprofits. And I don't yeah. know if zoning has done anything. So, no, Brian, I've got it's the, back on our radar. Yeah, no, I, you know what? And uh, stay on me. I have a full, I just get working on other projects. Oh, and I know the feeling, Michelle. Affordable housing has been really yeah. big lately. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it, there's, I think that the timing is good. There's been, change in zoning we just got the multifamily zoning regs changed that was a huge lift mm -hmm. um and they approved it unanimously so i like i think this is a good time and we did it denise and i did a lot of research i have like what it, all the towns around us do i was going to go for um land trusts and farms Mm -hmm. because you're both in the same boat yeah so uh let's just stay stay on let me let me resurrect that i still have the folder with all the information great and and is there i guess what housing did you have to go talk to zoning and try to put together a group to sit down and, and mm -hmm. let's uh, let's come up with something that's reasonable that's but reasonable, still that works yeah yeah, yeah. we it, yeah. Happy, yeah. happy to be part of that Awesome. That sounds great. I have, I love that idea. Um, I do have one thought to share that I don't know. I'm sure that Denise and Michelle have looked into it, but when it has to do with state roads or that aren't town managed or something that their the regulations might be a little less in our control. So um, that's just something to think about, like uh, wayfinding signs for farms can be, if it's more than two turns, they don't support it or something, but um, I, just, I just don't know how that would apply. So I so I spoke with Jim. So wait, wayfinding and entrance are different, you know, for the turns. <clears throat> and Jim was a very amenable to getting the, um, forget which color like I was going through the state signage thing too because there's the Connecticut homegrown because there's like brown like deep rock might be brown but farms might be green or blue is municipal but anyway you know the little metal ones that you stick like right on the street sign if it's a town road we have complete control over that so for so, in other words directions to get right there. like if you're trying to get to see like like right now there's there are a couple of signs right on the bridge on 47 for the pavilion in the school. Right, right. Right. And they're white and blue. They're municipal. Yeah. So people miss the turn on the river for steep rock. So there could be like a brown, a little brown wayfinding sign, steep rock with an arrow on yeah. the street sign for river. Yeah. Right. And then they get to that T and I think there's another street no, sign and yeah, it can say steep rock this way. So, yes. and there's, those are small right but they're right on the street sign so they're very visible uh but so that we can do thing, without zoning changes then. yeah Only yeah i'm pretty sure that is just a highway department thing and i spoke with jim about that the 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 signs that mark the the driveways or the farm stands they are in a residential zone and the, it's very small, the sign that you're allowed to put oh, in, in a residential zone. And so, so we need to exempt land trusts and farms from that thing. And, give them and, a little more of a- Yeah, thing. so what we were gonna propose was not quite as large as the commercial zones, but larger than the residential. Right now it's what two, four square feet, you can say, you know, like- One sign is four square feet. The others can be two square feet. 
Yeah, the, the, the so, way. And you're driving down the road at 60 miles an hour trying to read a sign that's the size of your computer monitor. <laughs> yeah, no, they're tiny. They're because because they're residential. They're meant to to say, you yeah. know, the the boar house. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. on one ninety nine right, or right. the rocks, right. whatever. You know, like to name your house. That's what they're meant for. So <laughs> we'll work on it. So, but the Wayfair signs you're saying. I mean, I get what you're saying. They're small, but but if they're on the street that you're looking for, you know, you're looking for that's, River Road. Well, I think I I'm much more in favor of those small but metal right on the street sign signs yeah. versus like having the yards, you know, yeah. signs all over the place. Right. You right. know, I know April's got a few up yeah. on the hill yeah. to to help find them, yeah. but I, if we could put the real street sign type yeah. on, I think that would be really helpful. It's not, you know, we don't it's not so, we don't have that many. It's not like yeah. we're gonna have signs all over the place. Yeah. I would, I, and I appreciate you bringing it up here. I think it's an EDC uh, committee thing, but uh, <laughs> although could be sustainability because we're trying to sustain those. Well, we're know, talking about that, it under farms. So and then, yeah, we did. That's and right. when we had so, that farmers forum, the first thing they asked for was signs. So yeah, you have you, you have the information right I about do. about that. So over. you can help. Uh, Talk with Brian and yeah, and no, we, Brian, just just stay on me, just like make me keep bringing it to the top of my pile. <laughs> it's hard, Thanks. it's like, but yeah. Anyway, you know, All right. divided attention. I know that feeling very well. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I think we all do. But uh, anything else, Amy up there? Any Carol? Anything else? All I guess right. I have one. What just one super thought, quick thought, and I don't there. I don't know if this is even on the plate anywhere in town, but wherever possible, if we're going to be putting down pavement, if there's any way we can consider doing the permeable yeah. pavement options over regular, I would just like that to be a consideration when you hear discussions about that. Well, that's a good uh, point. We just did have a. Um, we are in the process of paving Hinkle Road. Hinkle, yeah, um, uh, due to the ongoing flooding and washing out of that road and number of accidents on it as well. Uh, people being stuck in their house for a couple of days because the road was washed out. Uh, uh, so we've had a bunch of issues there. Uh, I will talk to Jim and and and, um, and Kevin about that. You know, the because uh, I, 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 you know, the issue on their side is, can, is it plowable? Is out, what's the maintenance on it and, and all that. So uh, I, I do think, um, I don't know if roads, certainly stuff like parking lots, we should- Parking think lots for sure. I don't know about roads, but I understand yeah. the, the details about the Hinkle um, yeah. swap yeah. over. Yeah. And and we, I'll be honest, Jim brought this up with the, you know, we got three inches of rain in an hour the other day, uh, whatever that, I mean, cool. an incredible amount of rain yeah. in that short period of time. Um, apparently, it, According to Jim, it's the same. The, the amount of rain we get is the same. It just comes in these huge downpours. So we're looking at a lot of stuff with the town talking to the road crews about what we need to do mm -hmm. to, to, to be prepared for that. And unfortunately, one of it is some of the dirt roads because they ju we just can't maintain them anymore. Uh, you know, that that grader we had was a half that we have is a half a million dollar machine that we bought to do that work. Wow. Uh, and, and and we have one person now who's who's certified to drive that. Roger Canavero used to be our guy yeah. for years. He retired, so we have one other person. But it they end up spending an inordinate amount of their time on a small on the small well, there's well, still thirty know. miles of dirt road in town. But it's so it's it's yeah. you know, um and you know so anyway, I I think that's something we're going to have to do in town um uh, to. Sustain, you know, the, the what we're trying to. I need to know there is a showcase permeable parking lot in Torrington. Yeah, uh, Rivers Alliance yeah. is oh, connected with really? that. That's it's cool. somewhere on Where's Main Street. I can right, find right. out. It's yeah, a, I'd love to see it. I go up there. I think yeah. it might be the police department. I'd love to see it because the issue so always great. was parking yeah. lot. When we built schools and talked about that, it was always. We can't, yeah. you know, the issue of plowing them and the issue of how do you maintain it and that kind yeah. of stuff. Maybe yeah. they've come up with more, a better way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Um, of course, we don't get any snow anymore. So, that, yes. yeah. Hardly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's we get like, rain. We get a lot of rain, though. Hot. Yeah. So, anything that would help yeah. alleviate yeah. some of that mass. And, and we're trying, even with the, with, with doing the uh, uh, fixing up the road, is, uh, uh, is trying to, for the fire department, 
we're spending some money and and this part that we're talking about this is another thing fire um ponds where the fire department can go and load up right. the trucks you know because we don't have hydrants around you know you got to yeah. go to a place somewhere so as part of the runoff from these roads uh there's a pond up on hinkle road that we're trying to direct more of the water into mm -hmm. so that it also serves that purpose at the same time sure. you know i have an article from urban like an urban design like that they're talking about this because it's happening in new york city and other yeah. places every day yeah. and right like water. these whales and the, the yeah. holding spaces so yeah, yeah. Ponds, yeah. that's what we right. need to do we know because we were there on our driveway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go out there and run mine back. Last two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. No, we're good. Uh, we'll adjourn at whatever six, six, six ten. ten. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And Brian, I'll get that email when I get home. Thanks, Dave.